I think the boomerang that you buy from the tourist shop at the airport in Australia is just a piece of wood with some stuff painted on it. I bet you it, it wouldn't do anything if you threw it. You'd have to make a boomerang, the, the shape would have to be quite, quite accurately worked out for it to work well, I think. You'd have to get the aerodynamic shape right, you'd have to get the taper on it. You'd probably have to have a little bit of washout, as they'd say in aeroplanes, a slight twist in the aerofoil so that one end stalled at a different speed from the other one. That's what aeroplane propellers do. They're not a constant twist all the way along. It changes and then it flattens out again towards the end, because obviously the end is going faster than the middle, which is going faster than the root. So the physics of this sort of thing quite complicated. Was the boomerang the earliest man-made wing? Boomerang the earliest man-made wing? Well, it may, yes, I would imagine it is, because, I mean, if they, I mean, the Aborigines have been there for ages with them, supposedly, and if the Egyptians had them as well, then they are, they're going to be one, two, three, four, five thousand years old. Yes, maybe they didn't realise that it was a wing that they'd made, but that's what it was. It creates lift, so it's a wing. The interesting thing about helicopters is one of the reasons their top speeds tend to be limited is that for the same reason that the boomerang turns, when a helicopter is going forwards, let's say the blades rotate that way, the blade on this side is going at its speed plus the air speed of the helicopter. The downwind blade, if you like, on this side is going at its airspeed minus the speed of the helicopter, so it's having air taken away from it. And there will come a point where that side will stop producing lift and that side will produce all of it, and the helicopter can't go faster than that. And you get once you get bigger blades, you run into problems because the ends are going so much faster, that's why you then have four blades or even five blades on a helicopter. And the same problem is true with aeroplane propellers. If they go beyond a certain rotational speed, the linear speed at the tip, can become supersonic or transonic, certainly. That was a problem with the North American Harvard training aircraft as well. It made such a terrible racket. The tips of the propeller were just starting to go transonic. So they had to make it slightly shorter and put a slightly bigger pitch on it. Can you think of anything that you'd throw away and want to come back? Things that you would throw away that you would want to get back? Well, I suppose... <laughs> The world is full of people aged 50 and 60 plus who say, e, my grandma had thousands of those and she just threw them away. They usually say that when they're going around an antiques fair. But that's why these things are in antiques fairs and are collectible. It's because most of them were thrown away. If we kept it all, it wouldn't be interesting. We'd just be waiting to throw it away. So as a general rule, I think once you put something in the bin, you should accept that it's gone. Unless you're in my house, because some of the things that end up in the bin there are the car keys, the car registration document, money, aeroplane tickets, keys to the house, all sorts of stuff ends up in the bin for some reason. I've spent half my life emptying bin bags and searching for really, really precious things. I bought a new car. Don't want to digress too much, but I bought a new car a couple of years ago, quite a nice one. I was very excited about it. I brought it home and I put it in the garage. And about a week later, the, you know, the red V5 ownership document, the logbook, um, the pink papers if you're a, an old-fashioned American. That arrived and then it disappeared. And obviously it's vital, it's not really your car without that piece of paper. And I looked for it and I found it in the bin. We've also got a shredder, imagine how dangerous that is. <laughs>